<sighs> All right, good to go. <laughs> nope. Nope. What's going on, guys? It's Evan and Everett from RiversEdgeCutlery.com. We're once again without Riley. One more week. But he's in Hawaii, so he's having a good time. Anyway, we're this freezing week, to death. Yeah, we're freezing our asses off. He's in Kauai <laughs> doing backflips off of a pier, I guess. Right. <laughs> Nonetheless, today we are going to look at your guys' collections, react to them, you know, just give you guys our uh, general thoughts. This is all in good fun. Obviously, everyone's got their own mentality when it comes to collecting, their own goals, so this is not meant to be disparaging in any way. But and we have opinions. We sure got opinions, <laughs> I'll tell you. So the where we pulled these collections was from our Facebook page. Uh, the Which rec I don't even know if we've talked about here. We probably haven't, so we'll link it down below. Um, it's called The Rec Room. It's a small group of guys and gals. And really what it is is just news, reviews, discussion, and then also we sometimes give you guys little bits of heads up, more about the post A little bit stuff. of early access. You know, like we did that with the Chavez stuff, sometimes with ProTech, Microtech, stuff like that. Chris Reeve exclusive. Exactly. So if you guys are interested in that, we'll link it down below. Definitely give it a join if you're interested in this kind of stuff, or if you want to be part of the video planning process, because the reason we actually chose this topic was because we asked you guys in the rec room and you recommended it. So thank you guys. Oh, I think a good place to start is always with Ryan Harrell. Right. <laughs> he has a crazy collection. Yeah, he. I mean, this is not even not even scratching the surface of his total collection. This is just his rec and rec themed stuff. A huge supporter of what we're doing. He's awesome. So he's got obviously both 10V Scorpion PM2s at the top. Both the, colorways of the Journey Co. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> the wallet, which is awesome. Yeah, that's actually really rare. Um, all of the Lynch Pry Bars in our exclusive colors. The Lil Native, which, is that the most rare? Uh, or is the Para pair 3 still? Para 3 might be. I think it's on the fence. Okay, cool. So he's got all the really rare ones. And Two then, work mats, one of each. Yeah, of course. Of with, course he would With wise. slot and without. So he's also got a Brian Brown Jaeger all wrecked out, which Brian Brown himself actually did the same configuration, but with a micard inlay. Shout out Brian Brown. Vero. And then that my might have favorite. been one of the first Koenigs we ever did. It probably was. I think he, that may have been the one that he picked up at Blade Show. Or was it even before that? I think that? it was before that. Dang. Ryan's way ahead of the curve on all this yeah. stuff. He's a, he's a big Koenig guy, so that actually looks really sweet. And of course, can't forget the little Vero Fulcrum in the rec colors. Shout out, Ryan. You are awesome, brother. What would you add to that collection if you had to? What else would you wreck out? There's, there's not even much to add. You're already going to know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I want to I wanna wrecked Malibu in there. That would be sweet. Or a Mordax. If we could customize Chris Reeve. Yeah. An REC cursory would be awesome. <laughs> that would just be so perfect. Brian Spradling. Let's see. You're probably better at identifying the butts of knives. Uh, <laughs> we obviously got the rec shaman in there. Um, all look at all these microfibers. This is obviously a few different Manix. It looks like this is a 20 native. CV Manix. Um, Manix two from a uh, knife joker, right? Mm -hmm. um, which is an awesome knife. Super good price point on that one. Man, it's hard. I think that's a, a Leon. I think that's a Leon Moth Field Duty EDC. Is it? Or is that a Hinderer? Oh, I think no, the one behind it, the back one. Do you see how it's like a monoblock mm -hmm. G10? I think that's what that is. I love that knife. Or maybe this one is. Maybe they both are, because that's definitely <laughs> a. Um, it's really hard to that's tell. That's a Leon Moth. Obviously highlighting the shaman. I asked him to lay clocks. it out. I said, "Hey, lay those out. I see some killers in there." And then Brian, you know, he went silent on me, but he's a busy guy. <laughs> He has a couple patches. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. So my only recommendation for Brian is to be lay out your collection next time. <laughs> Thanks, I want to know who has the original patch that was pink. Oh, the salmon Do color. Do any of you line. have the pink patch? Can you explain the lore behind it was, that? It was just an accident. <laughs> <laughs> we, we wanted uh, tan. It ended up... It ended up definitely pink. And we ended up giving most of those away at Blade Show uh, 2019. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, it's a rare thing. They obviously, won't do that again. Uh, All right, next we have Yvonne, the homie. Another super big supporter the of homie. everything we're doing. Absolutely. He's got, obviously, all of the avocado and the uh, Sandy yeah, exclusives. Yeah, I didn't see a pen in Ryan's collection. Oh. You know, we do have some, uh, some Tough Riders in our exclusive colorway coming back in. They are here now, 
and uh, we'll get those posted up soon for you guys. If not, absolutely. What if they've already been posted and what if they're sold out? <laughs> <laughs> Next time we'll get you guys. But the Tough Riders are super awesome. Yvonne, he's just got the whole collection, and of course he's got all the the OG stickers and whatnot. So he's a tank for that and a good friend. Mr. V. Gary V. Uh, we got the, the two 10V Scorpions, or three 10V Scorpions here. Uh, two Satin, one DLC. The REC Strop making an appearance. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that underneath there. That's so cool. Oh, but also, you know, it, you know, he's just holding that 10V Satin for me. Mm. Yeah, I, I just loaned it to him. That one's nice. actually, that's actually my knife and you just don't <laughs> realize it yet. So shout out, dude. Thank you so much for holding on to that. Jeff, I was actually really excited about Jeff Whoa. Seifert's one because this is a really nicely, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can get a little bit of, of a Super closer. Super cool local guy also. Is this a Titanium Malibu? Yes. That is sick. Um, if you guys, I know Malibus are hard to get your hands on anyway, The Titanium ones are obviously That's even crazier. Um, the weight that the tie adds over aluminum mm -hmm. is sick. Um, obviously the colors look amazing. Operator, full size rock eye. What is there to say about that? <laughs> That's sick. And then look who we got here. Mr. Purvis. Shout out Adam Purvis, the Xerx Integral. That's super cool. Looks like that. Is that the that's a comp is that the compound grind right there? Is that what I'm seeing? It's hard to tell with the lighting. It's hard yeah, to I see, think so. But that's sick. And obviously hinderer XM18 right there. This 940-1. What what is there to say about that? It's an awesome knife. The knife trick romantic too lightweight again. I absolutely love that thing. We're working our way down from the top left. You know, we don't have much negative to say about this collection so far. One of the hardest protects to sell. What is? The skull. And like <laughs> <laughs> you know, but when you find the right guy, it's exactly it what he needs. And then off the beaten path, a siren. If you have never picked up a siren, um, you don't know what pocket ripping is until you get <laughs> up a siren. <laughs> that knife is so aggressive in the G10. It makes total sense. Oh, another Helmy. We got Mr. Mike Bean here. New, no, he, GB2 and the Abdicate, two really cool older designs from Spider Co. And to think he's only just started collecting um, basically, I think this year. I think I Basically, once right. ammo prices shot up, he moved away from firearms and started collecting knives. And oh. his collection's insane. A lot of people. This Is this the Riot that you just worked on the other day up here? Mm hmm. Then uh, down here he's got oh he's got a JK that's super hot right now. Let's see let's should we should we do a speed round and see if we can name all these exclusives down here? Going from left to right, green You're to You're probably better at that fiber. than I am. It, what it, it, this is knife Joy. Joy. Bento box. SMKW. I think this is a 204P one. Yeah, I would say. I can't tell. I think I can't tell if it's black or green, but I, if, judging by knowing Mike, he probably has the, the cooler one. So I think that is a 204P one. What? Who is that? Knife Works. Mm -hmm. Knife Works. Maximate, obviously not a not a sprint, but a um, a standard line item to Maximate. A Tonto, obviously BHQ. Copper scales, also BHQ. Um, and then a black type Yojimbo, and then an amalgam. Super cool collection, brother. A couple more Leon Moss. Yeah, a couple more Leon Moss hiding around. So I tagged Nick because I, I, Nick doesn't <laughs> show the collection off very often. No. But uh, shout out Nick for, for showing us this. I didn't even realize he had this many knives. I know. Honest. It's always <laughs> just an Nkosi in his pocket or a Hinderer. So I didn't even know. So he's, he's been going through, obviously he's going through a, a big Mexican blanket slash rainbow trout phase right now. Oh, yeah. uh, with, the, with the micarta. But he's got a, a couple cool older uh, Sabenza 21s. There are actually four Sabenza 21s here. What did they call this one with the blocks? It was called plated. Plated. Okay, more like armor plates than blocks. Yep. Carbon fiber, um, exclusive to Knife Center, maybe? Uh, it was um, Knife Art. Knife Art. Sorry, Knife Art. And then he's just got some, some newer Chris Reeve down here, some 31s and some Encosis. Super, super cool. I think this is his latest acquisition down here, this full-size rock eye operator, yeah. the second one we've seen. Shout out to a local customer for hooking him up with that one. Yes, absolutely. Of course, a couple Hinder XM18s, both with the- Sharp dressed. Yeah, both with the aftermarket sharp dress. That looks awesome. A couple Dessert Warriors, classic. And then he's got the 
King Avocado up here. PM2. As well as a PM2. Blue Malibu. A, TRM Adam. Steel? You right here? Like the SR1, the orange at the bottom. I can never, oh, you know yeah. what it is? It's got that like ribbed aluminum handle. Yep. That looks sweet. And then he's got, a, I think this is a Pena here. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can sort of tell Malibu, that looks awesome. Nick, you have a very well-rounded collection. I wouldn't add a single thing to yours. Speaking Holy of well-rounded. Speaking of well-rounded, we got a completely <laughs> Chavez collection speaking here. Speaking of Chavez. Oh yeah, do you wanna do a pocket dump real quick? We can. All right, what you got? Well, obviously, the, uh, what is this called again? The Chub the Flipper. The Chub. I almost said the Tack, because it looks so much like a Tack. Right. As always, the Chi Rockstead. You got to um, explain what's going on with the blade here, so because well, it looks ridiculous. I basically, put in um, a Dewalt like hook blade uh, to so make sick. it my karambit. <laughs> <laughs> so that is my tactical knife. Yeah, that's clearly um, tactical now. Have my Hunter handmade fixed blade. Nice. Have a couple of those in store nice. available, and then. Unfound? Unfound leather. Fantastic. Airpods, pocket full of quarters. No flashlight today. Um, Me neither. Mine ran out of, I don't have a AAA in the house. Sailor, so. 1911. This one's been making a lot um, of pocket time lately. I don't know why. I was thinking about selling it and I said, I'm just going to use it. Oh yeah, it's because you've been doing a lot more paperwork recently. Yeah, and I was, <laughs> I was always worried about the price point. So it was just kind of sat in his box. Yeah. I don't care if it's got scratches and stuff all over it now. You can Cerakote it eventually one day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, Riley. Sarah coating his fountain pen. <laughs> you Sarah coat really anything you give it to. <laughs> All right, for me, I got my REC exclusive. What was this? Desert ebony, golden there ebony. Was, it was golden ebony, is what it said on the box. But there was so much controversy around that material. It's wood, <laughs> and it's, some it's sort a real of ebony. steel Luna a D2 blade. I. It's also an air freshener. Yes, I also have a B Weiss right leather. Yeah. B Weiss. I always have to check wallet there with the REC logo. Makes on our it. leather mats. Shout out B Weiss. And he's a super cool guy. Anyway, back to the Chavez collection. I I couldn't even begin to start naming all of these. Me neither. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys take in the glory of this. I think this, this one is up, awesome. at the very top is the is the most recent group knife. I think that's the, like the lava flow mm -hmm. carbon fiber scapegoat up there. Good stuff. Ryan, you are a specialist, which we love. We love a good specialist around here. Oh, Ryan, uh, he had to tease us again with another photo. <laughs> let's count, let's just play a game where oh we saw, goodness. where we call count the Koenigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 Koenigs wow. in one picture. <laughs> Ryan, I bow to you, King Talk Collector. A flex. I know, and then also, hey, Another huge flex for Brian Brown Yeagers. That is insane. Some more Leon wow. Ma down here and Oz Machine Company. What that's can an you incredible add? collection. Yeah, well, that's the right there. That's just an incredible collection. Two REC colorways on those. Ryan, you are I a good friend. I don't even want to add up the, cost the of value those. of those. No, it would, that would hurt my brain. I'm sure Ryan would appreciate if we didn't do that either. <laughs> Another okay, here, specialist. another spot. Yeah, exactly. We have half tracks, three half tracks, one, two, three, four, four XM 18s, a couple eclipses, XM 24 Jurassic, Fire Tac. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can't remember the name of that fixed blade, but that's next but on it my is, list. But it is sweet. This is, I mean, as far as specialist goes, oh, you know, John Runyon, you remember mm -hmm. him? Yeah, absolutely. And here, here we have a little bit more variety from John. We got the Stitch, and I mean, he's got a Koenig. There he is. A, a Norseman. Norseman, a Pison, a uh, Evo. CKF Evo. What's this? Oh, this is Medford. Medford. A few Medfords down mm -hmm. here. Oh, and then a man close to my own heart. <laughs> he's got himself a SOCOM Elite down there. This is a collection first. I would love to have. This is just a clean, beautiful collection. I love it. Couple Spartans up here. But that graphic on that, the large, is awesome. So they always do amazing graphics. That's kind of what I love about them most. Full tie eclipse. Doesn't get much better than that. How? I shouldn't have spoke. 
full tie Bowie eclipse. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> that is super sick. As far as rarity goes, does it get much rarer than the uh, Chris Reeve Those Spartan helmet REC exclusive? That is super, super badass. We have Greg Bartram. Always a pleasure when he stops by. He has a PM2 collection that totally rivals Jamie's. Mm -hmm. um, there's some stuff that if you're not like really looking, you're gonna miss it. Okay, here we go, here we go. One of these is, is Maximus. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, in copper. Or, yeah, okay. One of these is Maximet in gray, and one of them, I assume, is um, 20 CP. Mm. I can't tell the difference between the grays from here. St. Nick's, possibly. Yep. That is a uh, Rex 45 with a burnt orange. And more, if, wow. as if there ever could be a There's larger collection of that. Flag. He's got the Crew Carta, you know, because He's a tank. S45, before they switched over to that, was a Sprint. Um, beautiful, beautiful knife. Tontos, Warncliffe, new Smoky Mountain Knife Works, new Jade Tontos and M4, Emerson opener. 11 more comments, oh God. We have to do a specific video just with Greg, holy crap. Yeah, we might have to have you come over and be on one of the rec reports. Oh, late Chris. I had no idea you had so much heat in your in your vault there, brother. A couple of RPM2s. He's got Bento Box, SNK, um, the Bowie, Spidey Chef from Knife Center. Um, is that Jade? I can't tell. Or that could be Tan, like 20 CV, 20 CV Tan, S90V. Mm -hmm. He's got a bunch of really cool stuff. And he's just a great guy. Shout out Olay Chris, you rock, brother. Next we have... Brad Caldwell, oh my gosh, this layout <laughs> is insane. Um, definitely don't show this to your wife, Brad. This is this is too much. Uh, we have uh, Malibu's, TRM's, Quiet Care. I mean, you don't see those too often, actually. Those are awesome. More Leon Ma, American Blade Works. And a Shiro, <laughs> Chris Reeve, a bunch of really cool Spider Co. exclusives. Oh, yeah. Um, he's even got the King Avocado Shaman there. Brad, that's a pretty well-rounded collection you got there, brother. I have no feedback for you other than, damn. <laughs> Christopher McLaughlin, we have a absolute REC setup here. He's got all the cool exclusive stickers, September, October. Keep on the lookout for November. Uh, it's coming soon, I promise. We have, he's got everything. Oh yeah, even and the lanyards. Yeah, he's got even the uh, EDC micro lanyards. Let's not talk about how much money in lanyards is sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, you are awesome, brother. Thanks. Looks amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this kind of content, let us know down below. We'll make some more of these. And you know, if you wanna be featured in one video like this, go ahead and join the rec room. It'll be linked down below. Um, we always have kind of fun in that room, yep. so. Let us know what you guys think of this kind of content. Ever, you got anything else you want to shout out? Uh, <clears throat> if you want to post your collections on Instagram also, make sure you tag us and we'll share those in our stories. Sounds good to me. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this kind of different episode of the Rec Report. We will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Later.